Okay. Hi, it's Tessa and I'm in my bathroom and I am using the, let me see if I can get a shot of it. No, I can't. The Feria um, number 36 deep burgundy brown and it's cherry chocolate colored. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I want my hair to be purple again because it wasn't purple. <laughs> It was fading so bad and it's been 17 days since I had it colored. So I'm hoping because I was so blonde before in spots that if I redo this, um, the other color will act as a filler and then this will not fade as fast, but who knows. I'm hoping that when I wash this out in 20 minutes, it's not going to be red because I don't want red hair. I want purple hair, but, uh, I don't know, deep dark burgundy looks purple on most people, <laughs> so hopefully it looks purple on me too. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's looking red on my head. Um, I had a mess. It was all over my door. It's all over the floor. Um, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, I need to clean that up. It looks bad. So anyway, I would have like recorded the process, but my um, tripod thing broke. So I'm going to clean up my floor and wait the 20 minutes, wash it out, and then I will get back to you and show you what this looks okay, like. Test that again, and I'm going to take off this towel, blow dry my hair, and see exactly what this looks like. Um, I'm hoping that it's like a burgundy purple color, but we shall see. I will get back to you in a few minutes. <laughs> It's Tessa and I'm back and I will totally use this hair color again. Let me, whoops, wrong light. Let me see if I can get it. It's really hard to catch the color, but it is definitely like a reddish black or brown. But it does have a purple undertone to it, so I'm definitely happy with that. Um, sorry I'm all over the place with this camera. I can't really see. Maybe I could do this way. Then I'm, no, that don't work either. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. That's what it looks like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.